Hi everybody and welcome to Penfinity. My name is Wesley Venitu and uh, this is a continuation of the introduction of the Pen Dynamic tool. Today we're going to see it in action uh, in a retouching phase. So uh, what we're going to do today, we, we're going to get rid of this imperfection here, this weird highlight here. And uh, to do that, uh, you have different techniques. Of course, you can use the cloud stamp tool. You can use the content content aware. Uh, you have that in uh, in GIMP and, and Photoshop. In GIMP, you have the in paint uh, a technique too. But for this one, um, it gives me a better results with uh, pixel level retouching. So what it means uh, we're gonna zoom really high to see the value of the pixel and and retouching with the one pixel brush. But of course I want to do that and I want to do it fast. So that's why uh, do it do it uh, one by one is gonna be uh, really time consuming. So I'm gonna show you how I set up the paint dynamic tool to be able to do that. So first uh, let me level up the brightness of the image first because this is the raw render so, so be able to see it better and i'm gonna i create another another view so this is the 100 percent view and i'm gonna zoom on this really high like this for retouching so uh to make that efficient uh, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create a brush um with uh with a certain uh, spacing and jitter and I'm, I'm gonna lock, uh, if I pick for example this this area, I'm gonna lock the lightest red and the darkest one and I'm gonna randomize the color between them to be able to match uh, to match properly and correct properly this area. So uh, let me show you that. I'm gonna create a blank one and put it to white and uh, let me choose for example from red to blue, for example. So I let me open the pen dynamic editor and I already create a, a custom brush for this. So uh, uh, what I did uh, here, I activated the, the color randomize. So uh, it will randomize between red and blue. Let me, oh, let me zoom out and increase the brush so you can see it better. So as you can see, it can randomize it like this. And if you look at the matrix, the curve of the color of the random, I uh, created an invert as to be able to have a, a smooth transition. If I put it linear, it's gonna be much more straightforward, as you can see. Transition is gonna be much more pronounced. So that's why I set it up that way like that so it's it is much softer and I activated the spacing too so if I uh, with the pressure so if I press lightly I'm gonna have uh, this spacing and if I press hard it's gonna be much more close so it will depend on the situation I'm gonna press I'm gonna press uh, either way to have the effect I want so uh, I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna activate to the jitter here. So let me put it to 4.5.5, and I will have this like this. So at the pixel level, I'm gonna have, as you can see this so let's put that in action so I create a new layer let me put this where is it I'm gonna keep it on top and I'm gonna start retouching so I um, let me start with this area of course when you have a, a, a strong val um, value like that it is uh, because of the flakes of the material, so I'm not going to pick this one, but much more uh, this, this value, 
as the lightest one and the darkest one will be this one for example so as you can see here i have my two value and i'm going to start just painting like this so i'm going to go really quick i'm going to do it in uh, in multiple multiple passes when i when i estimate uh, here if if the value changed uh, change uh, too much i'm going to resample colors and and continue the retouching let me put it that way for now so now let me change a resample this one and i'm going to keep the lightest one for now like this and look at what happened at the bottom here at 100%. And of course, if you want to start with the darkest one, you just have to switch and uh, uh, you will be able to, to correct if it becomes too obvious, if the, if the, retouch, uh, the retouching becomes too obvious. So let me resample a value here. I'm gonna sample this one here. So I do it really quickly so you can see the how I do it. This one. Okay, let me put this dark one to be able to put more variation. And I switch, as I said. So, as you can see, look at it for now. It, uh, it starts to give me good result, but you can you can see see we have uh, some light value here. It's not completely clean, so I'm going to continue on this one. Uh, just put some random color. What I can do now, the the value is is too strong, so I'm going to introduce the the opacity on the color here. Combined with the pressure, but it's still too strong. So I'm gonna change and check the opacity here. But instead of the pressure, I'm gonna check the tilt. So when I'm gonna put the stylus on 90 degrees, it's gonna be 100%. Uh, and uh, if I put it for a, a 45 degree, it's gonna be 50 and on and on. So now I can slightly have, have my retouching moving forward like this I can put it 90 degrees to have let me recheck the lighter value here and I can continue on these parts put it straight and as you can see start merging perfectly well let me show you before after and you just continue to to work like this so let me put the strong strongest one here I'm gonna put the lightest one and just continue I'm gonna put it the stylus 90 degrees perpendicular to the to the tablet And I love this uh, this this uh, retouching style because it's uh, it's more painterly, and uh, and you have uh, a better control in in my opinion instead of re relying on the on the algorithm of, of the software who doesn't work all the time uh, really right in fact. 
So I can, for example, press really hard to be able to remove I'm gonna lower the spacing by pressing really hard, uh, and after that, uh, do a fine tune, fine tune retouching by picking a really hard value. Uh, and be able to make it work perfectly like that. So generally, this kind of uh, this kind of correction took me maybe 15 minutes. When I'm fully focused on it, and I zoom in, zoom out, and stop, so uh, it's about yeah, few few minutes to uh, to get rid of this imperfection, and control check, and uh, generally I did it in uh, three passes. I do a rough one like this, and after that correct it as I go. Mm -hmm. So look at it start to to disappear completely. You can see the before and after. And yeah, it, it, it is it is really that. Let me put let me put uh, as you can see, this is this is it. This is really that. It's randomizing the color with the with the jitter and spacing, and it will give me the the proper results. You see. So I'm gonna continue really quick because I'm not gonna go too far with this. Oh, I'm on the right one, the wrong one. Excuse me. Let's select this one, for example, and continue to color correct like this. And yeah, this is this is exactly how I, I retouch this little imperfection like this. You know, it's really zooming, correcting, zoom out like this, and look at the 100% here. See, uh, see if it looks believable enough. And uh, at the end, let me show you. Uh, yeah, this is this one. I, I corrected the area like this, as you can see. Uh, let me show you because I have a weird highlight here. I just, whoops, where is it? I corrected here. I make uh, some correction here and uh, increase the, the highlight manually. I make so, some correction, get rid of the imperfection here. And yeah, I just continue, continue do that on, on the entire image, like this. So this is it. This is uh, the the pixel level retouching method. So th this is what I use for really fine tune control, and and you can even increase that with the the, the level of precision with uh, the combination of mask and stuff like that. And we we're gonna go through that for the next for the next one. So if you have question about it, don't hesitate to contact me uh, on the Instagram uh, or at info.penfinity.com. It will be a pleasure to, to answer to your question. And yeah, hope this one was, was informative. And uh, see you soon, everybody. Bye.